Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Neff from Neff's Tech, but it's otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. And today, from the internet, I want to show you that uh, St. Javelin finally, finally has a spot on knowyourmeme.com. St. Javelin, of course, the patron saint of Ukraine, carrying a lockable RPG. And when I say lockable, you know that it locks onto a target and it takes it out if the target is not smart enough to drop flares soon enough. Man, I feel so bad about this. I mean, those trees, those poor trees getting caught in this war. But seriously, that there's no way that that pilot managed to eject in time. That was a beautiful shot. Russia might have tanks, but Ukraine has Saint Javelin. Now, what's super funny, super sexy, and super awesome about all of this stuff is I'm pretty sure the Ukraine has managed to uh, buy some javelins uh, with Bitcoin money or crypto money that's been sent to them. There's been a lot of different kind of crypto sent to them, mainly uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, but also some NFTs that they're holding on to right now. But this might be, this has got to be the first time that Bitcoin has actually been used in war. And if we can use Bitcoin in war, I don't think Bitcoin's going away anytime soon. Oh, wow. Check this out. They were actually getting Dogecoin, too. Dogecoin. Doggy coin. Whatever. Now, there's all kinds of cyber warfare going on all over on both sides. I didn't realize this until recently. Here's uh, Mudahar saying uh, the largest cyber war in history is happening right now. So it's an interesting time to be alive. The way that the war has been changing things, the way that the internet has been changing the war, it's as if the Ukraine is getting information from the entire world, not only from NATO, but uh, from their people in real time all over. It's, it's amazing how much information you can pick up on Reddit. The mods have to actively tell people not to post any information about, uh, I guess you could say allied movements, but post everything about Russian movements. Man, I've seen blogs in Toronto uh, of people seeing trains full of tanks rolling through town things are getting pretty interesting over there in the ukraine they're losing ground they're gaining ground and they're losing ground i mean the russians they're uh, they're actually moving in so it could be interesting to see what goes on at the end of this stuff these definitely are one of the signs of our time anyways all hail all hail all hail St. Javelin, and seriously, I don't care if you're Christian, Pasifarian, whatever. I think we all need to pray for the UK and get our freaking wallets out, Bitcoin or otherwise, and uh, send some love on over to the Ukraine people. Take care of each other.